I, I look at this report, and clearly we're finally seeing some wage lessening, excuse me, some unemployment, non-farm payrolls lessening as well. That buttresses against rising wages. How are those two balanced at that long table at the Eccles building? I think as, um, as Mike was describing, the wage growth is still stronger than the, uh, the, the Fed would feel comfortable with. So they want to bring interest uh, inflation down to 2%. And if wage growth was revised up last month, it's still strong and around 4.4%. That's going to give a lot of people some, um, some concern. And so I think they're going to say we need to move forward, even if we're starting to see a, um, a, a slight softening of the labor market. I mean, maybe this will be the turning point. And maybe we'll remember this as right. uh, that's, that was the last time we had a strong report. That was the last time that we uh, had uh, an... Uh, an overshoot and that the market is going mm -hmm. to uh, and the labor market will weaken but they really will want to see some evidence that uh, the, uh, the wage right. rates are going down you know i look at chicago and boo school and of course there was a professor there that his, his course turning points and humility austin goolsby professor goolsby was brilliant in that course turning points in humility 302. what's the level of humility <laughs> this fed has to have can they take what we're seeing right now of a non-farm payroll slowdown and use it as one point or do they have to see some form of moving average they, they don't overreact any one, one number or even any one, one revision. So they're going to want to see something that is a sort of a sustainable trend downward in wage pressure. So if they see that the labor market is starting to, to weaken um, and that the unemployment rate starts to, to move up, job growth starts to, uh, to slow down, they'll start to feel comfortable that wages will move down. But they're going to wait, I think, to see <coughs> wage movement start to move down before they say, oh, all clear, we can just stop. Now, remember, they're just going to stop. They're not going to start cutting. Um, they right. keep uh, <clears throat> emphasizing that. The markets don't seem to believe it, but I believe them that they're going to hold it. Unless there's some sort of cataclysm, they're going to hold rates wherever they end up finishing in the mid-fives. Um, uh, and they're going to hold it there right. for a while.